Wow. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a targeted individual. Uh, for those of you who do not yet know what that means, it is a person who has been chosen uh, by whatever means for uh, illegal, secret human experimentation, MK Ultra, uh, mind control, uh, more gallons, drugging, you know, gang stalking, the whole uh, final solution now. The new final solution being put into place. So, introduction's done. Um, we're going to call this one the, the dilemmas of a targeted individual. So, I, I'm walking down the street and um, these guys call me over. There are three of them standing around a van with an open back van and I say, hey, you want a cup of coffee or a sandwich? And so, I'm, um, you know, always one to talk to people. Yeah, okay, what's the story? Well, we're a, a drug facility trying to help people in recovery, and we need to get people to come in our beds. So if you need it, if you know anybody or see any people around that look like they could use some help and want to get their lives together, you know, give them this paper. And I said, all right, cool, you know. And, uh, and then the targeted individual thing kicks in and you got to start asking yourself like, all right, does the coffee have LSD in it? Why did they get in the van and drive away as soon as, as soon as I took the coffee and left? Were they just done with what they were doing or is this another one of these watcher things? Do you know how many times I have been drugged by people, uh, drugging my food or drinks? They have uh, had people, operatives in restaurants that managed to drug my food or drink. They've had people walk by and splash stuff into our food and drink uh, that we actually drank because they tried it twice the first time they spilled it on my shoes and I figured they tried so hard to get us to drink this drug we might as well take some of it. Um, and so we drank some of it and then they knocked us unconscious for a little while so that they could bombard us with some kind of radiation. Now whether that was trying to save us or fucking fuck us up or you know mitigate or activate the Morgellons nanofibers through electromagnetic frequency I don't know um, some really stuff weird stuff going on but you know I had one lady I was in the welfare office trying to get my food stamps and this nice lady a worker she said hey you know you look like uh, you want a cup of coffee and a donut I got one here I didn't eat for lunch you know it's alright uh, you know, so I'm like alright thank you and of course, being very cautious, I eat a little bit of this thing and I feel like I'm dosed out of my mind again. And then I get the police grabbing me for sitting in the park smoking a cigarette. And, you know, I mean, it's like, wow, man. Although here's a question. Here's something we should consider. Um, this this Morgellons thing is actually making people psychotic. It's making them schizophrenic. It's making them fear, paranoia, anger. Uh, it's making them hypnotic, hypnogogic, so that they can be programmed with this subliminal hypnotic suggestion through microwave hearing. Um, and, and, oh, Morgellons brain fog has hit me again. I forgot exactly what I'm saying. This happens all the time. Wow. If I could play back the tape, I'd remember. Anyway, uh, it's a frequency dependent thing and um, my thing is that maybe things like eating sugar or eating certain foods might activate this stuff in your brain and maybe perhaps some of what they're doing isn't actually drugging you with LSD and shit but they have this this organism in you this technology that has changed your biochemistry brain chemistry to a certain degree so that it can be activated through radiation to give you these certain states these emotional states or release certain endorphins in you or maybe even react with certain catalysts that are in the nanotechnology that is uh, being built through the biosynthetic pathways of the organism uh, that then interacts with the catalyst they put on you to give you these states. Um, these, you know, multi-year long, I feel like I'm on LSD, I'm very afraid and paranoid and, and uh, you know, anxious and all that stuff. I don't think that's all just trauma-based. 
I think some of it has to do with the drugging. There were clearly times where they sprayed me or put in the food, and then, you know, 45 minutes later, I would get, or, you know, the spray was a faster acting thing, but some of this stuff seemed to last for years, even after they stopped doing it. So here I am with this cup of coffee in my hand. I haven't taken a sip, and the dilemma is, do I trust these three nice guys and say, uh, yeah, or do I throw it away and, you know, I mean, this is the kind of thing, this is the trauma that is placed on you. Um, this is, uh, is um, mind control, anchor, neuro-linguistic programming. You get an anchor, a, a certain sound or color or situation or action or person or symbol or sound or smell or taste is reinforced during a period of extreme emotional duress and stress. And then, if you do that a few times, just like the Pavlovian response when you ring the bell and the dogs are going to eat and they begin to salivate and they ring the bell and they salivate even though there's no food, it's the same thing. You show the, the trigger, the anchor trigger, and it reinstates that traumatic experience once again so they can re-traumatize the nation every time they say 9-11 or terrorist or, you know, whatever, man. Anyway, I'm freezing. It's really cold out here and I have to go and get some medicine in the pharmacy, so um, thanks for listening. God bless you all. May God have mercy on us and bless all of us who are suffering under tyranny uh, and disease and stress and badness. <laughs> Thank you.